Well, as of Monday, October 23rd, the city of Edmonton officially voted in new zoning bylaws. So there's, uh, it's the first complete revamp of the zoning bylaws of our city in, uh, I think since the 60s or something like that it was. So a lot of people have seen some articles and there's some different information floating around, but uh, we've already been dealing with a lot of like misconceptions and misunderstandings. So uh, at the end of the day, uh, we had a long form training session uh, over an hour and a half with a large group of our agents and we're putting out a lot of in information on this and the impacts it's gonna have to uh, property owners and buyers of property in Edmonton. But uh, we wanted to kind of summarize a few of the like, key takeaways. So the biggest thing is, if you have a 600 meter lot, which is uh, many, uh, just single family house lots in Edmonton, uh, you can now build up to eight units on that lot if it's mid block, so in between like on a block, or if it's a corner, you can build up to 10 units on a 600 square meter lot. So what does that mean? Am I gonna live in a neighborhood that how now has an apartment building beside me? The general consensus right now is not uh, that most of the styles of construction and whatnot are really going to builders and investors are looking at this and homeowners and uh, whatnot are looking at it as how do I densify, especially in this market we're in with higher rates, how do I um, add maybe secondary suites, things like that. We already had the ability to do legal basement suites and garage suites on top of it on those kind of lots. It's a real opportunity for most homeowners to uh, frankly increase the value of their, their property and their underlying land um, and try to add some more housing and really be part of that solution to affordable housing. That's what density does is add more families per lot um, basically that can uh, live in, in great areas, specifically mature areas, but many others as well. So those are the two main ones. There's also a little math formula, which is the square meters of your lot divided by 75 will equal the uh, number of units that can be built on that lot. So if you're not 600 square meters, and maybe a lot of people used to feet, but instead of a 50 by you know 120 lot and 125, 130 lot, maybe you have a you know a 33 wide lot uh, by 130. There's a lot of those in the central part, South University and the like, other parts of the city as well. Um, so those, even though if it's less than 600 meters, you still might be able to do now six units instead of what could have been four before or three under the previous uh, zoning guidelines. Still no minimum parking requirement that got taken out a couple years ago uh, and, and that's definitely a contested, uh, discussed area. But at the end of the day, talk to your realtor, make sure you're informed about it. In many cases, homeowners that own properties that are above 600 square meters may have 50, 100 plus thousand dollar uh, value bumps. Your property might be worth substantially more than it was before that announcement. So be informed, talk to one of our Remax River City Realtors and make sure you're uh, aware of all the impacts and opportunities that, that there are for you.